Hi guys, how's it going? It's Sunday. Uh, today I was watching a video uh, from uh, J3B Diggin, Canada. He um, uses a metal detector. Um, I've watched a few of his other uh, videos and uh, he also collects coins. And um, he uh, pointed me towards um, uh, another site uh, called Salivate Metal, and I'm reading it off the screen here because uh, I didn't know if I'd say it right, but I'll put the link below uh, for everybody. Um, and I know that uh, DMs mix up, um, they have been um, good friends of mine. Uh, they are from uh, the East Coast uh, in the States there, and uh, they do a lot of metal detecting too. And, um, and they got some really cool content um, so I'll put their link below too and uh, so that the people are collecting coins and I was like you know uh, Salivate had a live thing he goes hey I'm giving you a shout out right now on there uh, and just reading off what I put on his thing I said you know hey JB uh, J3B uh, sent me over and uh, you know that's a pretty cool site and you're showing um, uh, it was a two kilo uh, coin from Australia, a uh, silver coin. Uh, it's like 20 millimeters thick. It's like super, you know, 100 millimeters. Well, I don't know. It was, it was big. But, and it was like, I think, don't quote me, but I think it was like right around two grand uh, US, somewhere around there. Uh, so, but, and I was like, well, I was talking to other people on there. Uh, there was um, some other uh, people that were on his live thing. And I thought, you know what? I have some old coins. And so I went and dug them up. I, I didn't dig them all up because I have no clue where anything is. But I found some. And, and so I'm going to share those with you right now. Um, but first I'm going to have some water. I was drinking tea earlier, but I'm like, holy cow, I gotta get some water in me. I like to have about, I don't know, six or eight of these a day. So, and I've had six or eight teas today, which is insane. And I'm not shaking or anything, but I'm pretty sure my insides are shaking, just waiting to come up. So, anyways, cheers. So, um, I've got a lack of pennies. As you guys know, uh, in Canada, we don't have pennies anymore. Uh, the government thought, eh, yeah, it's a basic counting thing, but you know what? We don't need it anymore. Kind of on the fence of that. I, I, I think it, it's kind of cool to have. Still a basic thing, one, two, three, four, right? You got your nickel, but uh, I guess, you know, the government uh, doesn't feel that we need it. And I'm sure some other countries have the same thing. And, you know, uh, the dollar's getting more and more and stuff like that, but I don't know. I think they're a big keepsake now, but uh, I've got some here. Like this is a 1962, so I'm not too sure on how you can see it. I'll just show you down here as well. Um, so I'm doing my GoPro right now, so I don't have a screen behind it, so I can't see. Um, I have some American pennies as well. Um, this one here is from nineteen sixty four and I'm not too sure guys you can probably fill me in but this is nineteen sixty seven they like very similar and then these are a mishmash of Anywhere from uh, 1958. I'm not too sure uh, when they stopped minting pennies with copper. Because I know in the 80s or 90s, they started using some other type of metal because copper is so expensive. This is a 1964.
This one is a 1941, and it says, this is a United States uh, penny, so it's one cent. And then flip it this way, and that's a 1941, 41. And 1962, so very similar. And they're all about the same. There's a 59. Same on the back. 58, same. So those are some of the coins there. Flip flop them. And around the same for 58 to 62. Whoops. It's always nice to have. I'm sure I got a ton more. Uh, here's an interesting thing that a vet gave me, um, and um, I'm really, really big into uh, our military and uh, about the vets and and taking care of them. And uh, so um, I tend to uh, talk to a lot of vets, and um, I sit down and have coffee with them, and I listen to their stories, and I just listen to them. Um, you know, they don't get a chance to um, have conversations with, you know, uh, younger people, and by far I'm not young, young, I'm 45, but still young. Um, I didn't go to the Second World War, I wasn't born, nor did I go to the first, but uh, the vet came in, and he gave me this, uh, so this is, I'll, I'll, I'll do the inscription after, but this is a 1943, 45, and 2005 commemorative, 1945, 2005 coin. So this is it here. So now Canada issued these coins um, during the war, and basically, uh, what this one says, and this one here too as well, uh, it says, uh, we win willingly, or we win, we win when we work willingly, right, whoops, I don't know. So it says, we, and he started on this side, on the left side, so it's we, and that's in uh, Morse code, and then it says, when, when we work, and then willingly along this side. Same as here. So there's the back. And so he actually put the inscription there of what it says in Morse code, which I was trying to read. So, and I thought that was really cool. Um, I have a lot of stuff that, uh, um, vets and, and people of vets and uh, parents and stuff like that that have passed on to me as far as uh, uh, to take care of and and to uh, get in the right hands as far as museums and stuff like that. Um, so um, that's a, a thing that I kind of do. Um, they, uh, they went through a lot they sacrificed a lot so that we're here so but um i'm going to get back into the coins um i have these coins here i think that's a newer coin that's what people are. Hey. all right let's uh here's whoops here's um some coins i got uh, this is uh 1985 uncirculated coin set So let's look at this. So inside here, this is a US uh, coin set. Um, put it on here. Did I see that? Put it on here. Okay, so I'll show you. This is um, Denver. So 
So there's that. This one here. Oh, I was showing some of that upside down. Oh. Can I do that right? Yeah. And this one here. I guess I gotta flip flop them. That's a Denver one, and it says uh, 1985 uncirculated coin set DNP mint marks. So and then it has this card here. Um, this one is Philadelphia, I believe. Yes, Philadelphia. So there's that one, and they're really nice. Oops. And these are, I believe, half dollars. Yeah, these ones are half dollars. And there's, of course, same one there. So those are really cool. I've had those for a long, long time. I'm going to put those over here. I'm going to put my pennies back in my pouch. Actually, um, a person came into my store. Um... Hmm. about five years ago when I had my store and they bought a storage logger and they wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff and I bought a whole lot of stuff off them for like really cheap. So like extremely cheap. They just wanted to offload their stuff so I kinda kinda scored there. Those are a couple more sixty one coins. What's your pennies? Alright, I'll show you this one too. This is a Canadian one. So this one is okay. So this one's 1971. And my mom gave me this one. This is a uh, Canadian dollar right here. And this one's the 50 cent piece, which is basically a half dollar. So those are those sets. I hope I showed them clearly. I'll put that there. Um, I do have other Canadian dollars. Uh, this is a 1986. This one is a 1969. And this one's a 1986 as well. So I think they're, yeah, they're the same. I do have some more 50 cent pieces. This one is 1985. This one is 1982. And this one's another This one's another 1985. I do have some some more uh, nickels 1945 with the 
um, Morse code on it. So there's a better look. And the Morse code has little dots in there in here. It's really hard to see on the camera. It's actually hard to see. Uh, they're just little notches, but it's all a Morse code. And I'm sure there's a few of those floating around. And this one. This one has a 1930. And this one, I had to go on the internet and look it up because it was really hard to see. This is, uh, it is called, well, I'll show you. It's called, oops, my mouse back there. It's called a 19, or sorry, it's called a McKenzie, a WL McKenzie King token. So it's from, um, when he ran, or, or when he was Prime Minister, and the years, and so it was a token coin. Um, it, I guess, this is in really poor shape, but I got that in the stuff that I got from the, um, storage, uh, unit. And I'll show you what the coin looks like here. I'm just doing the images. There's what the coin looks like there. Uh, so this is the one here. So that's the front. And I'll see if I can find uh, the one with the back. Here's what the back looks like. That's my reading. And on here, as you can see on mine, you can barely see the 